Hey guys, get ready with me. I have to hurry up because I have to leave in I think 10 minutes to go to the dentist. Do you guys notice anything different about me? It's better because like my hair feels so much lighter now. I cut my hair and it's finally healthy. Last night I finished my vanity at like 12.30 I think. It is a surprise though so you guys can't see it yet until next week i think i have so many videos that i already know i'm gonna film for this month so you guys are gonna get a lot of content this which is good because i have not been posting any get ready with me lately i ordered a lot of stuff online so you guys are gonna get a haul soon once everything comes i also bought a lot of shoes so i'm also going to do a shoe haul but i need one more pair of shoes i think i'm going to dye my hair this month I asked the hairstylist how much like the highlights that I want because I posted on my Instagram but you guys didn't choose the ones that I wanted and she said it would be like 180 you know what I also haven't told you guys yet I got my seconds I think I'm gonna order jewelry for back to school and I think I'm gonna buy it from Ripper Jewel so I'm gonna buy my second hoop earrings from there I'm actually so ready for my first day of school get ready with me even though you guys are gonna see me like literally crap myself because of the first day of high school. I get so anxious on the first day of school. Like I always feel like I need to poop and I need to fart and I need to throw up all at the same time. I'm so excited to show you guys the new vanity. It is so pretty, but I'm probably gonna do just like an organizing my new vanity video. I'm gonna show you guys a video of the hair that I want in my next get ready with me. I think it was super pretty, but like it was like your guys' least favorite on my Instagram. I forgot to set down my eyebrows. Okay, that is just gonna start in. My hair is kind of messy because like I left it like this from the salon. But anyways, bye guys, love you. I've got quite the busy next few days. I don't know what to talk about, so let's talk about my next few days. Okay, first thing I have to do today is get my oil changed. And no one wanted to tell me that it's like 80 bucks. It's actually ridiculous. I also think that today I'm going to film another YouTube video. Because I have been slacking because no one talks about how expensive it is to make makeup YouTube videos. And it is draining my bank account. And I also think I'm going to go out to eat with one of my friends tonight. Because I'm forcing her to go get my oil changed with me and film my YouTube video with me. Because I can't do anything by myself and I need her by my side at all times. No matter how much I get on her nerves. I know my foundation is too light. Just stop talking about it. I'm going through the phase. Anyways, and then I have to pack all my clothes because I'm going to the beach. I'm going to the beach with one of my friends. I've never gone to the beach with her. I actually just became friends with her a couple months ago. We're also taking my car to go, so I have to get a car wash today too because my car is gross. By gross, I mean I keep forgetting to take all my fishing stuff out of my car. And I will be spamming my Instagram over this beach trip, so if you don't follow me on Instagram, xmmyjs373, go follow me right now. I also have to wax my whole body today. Well, I did my legs and my armpits yesterday, so today I'm going to do, like, my arms and stuff. Okay, guys, that's it. I love you so much. Have an amazing day. Hey, guys, get ready for me while I talk about my roles for my future kids. Okay, the first one isn't going to be, like, relatable at all, but my kids will play baseball or softball. It's just because I was raised in a baseball-softball family, and I want my kids to play that until they can tell me they don't want to play. Okay, I don't want my kids to have a phone until 13, but I feel like once I have kids, that rule will change and I'll probably lower the age. But right now, I don't think it's necessary to have one until 13. Okay, for sleepovers, I have to meet the other kid's parent. Just because I've heard so many stories and like, I don't know, it scares me. But like, once my kid starts going into high school, then I'll probably be more chill about it. Okay, this rule might be a little controversial controversial but every sunday we're gonna be going to church and i feel like sundays should be spent with family so no friends on sundays okay the next rule i have is that i will allow my kids to go to parties but i will not provide alcohol or keep alcohol in my house my kids will not be drinking alcohol in my house but i'm fine with them going to parties and not telling me what they're doing just because I want them to be safe and I'd rather pick them up than them sneak out and do something stupid. Okay, this next one really isn't a rule. It's just something I'm going to do as a parent. I'm going to let my kids have privacy because I feel like I have no privacy. 
like for one i'm not going to go through their phone or like go through any of their stuff because it's their stuff and i'm gonna respect that okay next rule is if my kids cuss at me i will freaking kick their butt i don't care if you like cuss with your friends or where i can't hear it but like i just don't want to hear cussing in my house okay i'm really big on this but absolutely no smoking if i catch you smoking like i don't even know what i'll do and i have my reasons on why this one's so big but there will be no smoking at all another one people probably won't agree with me on is no c's and d's just because if you're struggling in a class i'm just gonna like get you all the help you can get so there really should be no reason you're getting c's or d's i mean unless it's chemistry but other than that like no all right guys bye thanks for watching today's get ready so apparently all flights today are canceled due to a global computer outage and i have a flight to catch in four hours my flight is to New York City and I cannot miss this flight because my meet and greet is tomorrow afternoon. So I have to get on my flight today or I won't make it to New York tomorrow for my meet and greet and I need to hang out with you guys. I honestly don't know what to do. All I know right now is that no one is getting on their flights today. Like everyone's is getting canceled. Ours surprisingly haven't gotten canceled yet. I personally haven't gotten any emails or texts that my flight has been canceled, but I just have a hunch that as soon as we get to the airport and we're checking in, they're gonna be like, nope, your flight's done. Because, I mean, realistically, if there's a global computer outage, like, what are they supposed to do? I'm just praying that a miracle happens within the next, like, hour or two if that computer start working again. But don't even worry, you guys. Like, I will make it to New York tomorrow, like, no matter what. If it comes down to having to get, like, a private jet or something, I will do it. I'm just kidding, a private jet's like a little extreme, never been on one, don't even know how to get one, but trust me, I will be there tomorrow. There has actually been a lot of issues with flights recently. When we were flying to LA like two days ago, our flight was delayed like four hours and a bunch of people on that flight came from connecting flights and they said that their previous flight was delayed like two days, which is insane. But right now, I have so much hope because I haven't gotten any confirmation that our flight is actually canceled. I've just been seeing everywhere that everyone's flights today are getting canceled because of the computer outrage, but we'll see. But guys, yesterday was my launch party with Glow Recipe, and holy crap, I have never felt like that before. I was like running around everywhere. I was so nervous. I was running around trying to greet everyone and like be a good host, but everyone was so sweet. Anyways, I will keep you guys updated, fingers crossed for me, but we'll see what happens. Bye guys. Today is my last full day of school before the six weeks off. And I'm so excited because my last day is tomorrow. My last day is tomorrow. Ooh, tomorrow. But it's a half day tomorrow. So today is my last full day of this school year. And I don't know how I feel. I'm excited for the six weeks off, but I'm really nervous for next school year. I feel like no one else is nervous for it, but I'm really stressed out. But it's currently quarter past seven and I have been awake for about an hour, but I couldn't be bothered to get ready. If you can't tell, I've had a really good sleep. My whole duvet is off the bed. It's fully off of the bed. I'm just gonna do skincare again today because I'm really tired today. So if I end up having a nap, I don't want makeup all on my shirt. My school's saying we're allowed to not wear tights and not wear blazers today. But the weather looks absolutely horrible. Like yesterday, the weather looked nice in this. I wouldn't have minded it yesterday, but I'm still going to wear my tights. And I always bring my blazer because if I don't bring my blazer, where am I going to put my phone? Because I need my phone. I can't not be on my phone. So my blazer needs to go on my phone. And we're not allowed phones, but it's like... That's such a silly rule because everyone still goes on their phone. So I need to take in my blazer still and I didn't shave my legs last night because I got too lazy and I couldn't be bothered. So I'm going to be wearing tight. I've got a new jumbo size of my Scar Slayer because I just opened this up from Glow Hub. And I didn't know they gave me the massive version but I'm really happy. I'm kind of doing my nighttime skincare right now but I don't really care. I think I have quite good lessons today though. I had really good ones yesterday. We had RE and we watched this movie. It's called like Pay It Forward but it was so so good. I really, really liked it. And it was really sad. The ending was actually really, really sad. But we have geography first period today. We're gonna be marking our geography test. And I really hope I did well on this because I'm kind of counting on it. I don't know why, but I kind of feel like we're gonna get our new timetable today because all the teachers are getting like, find out what lesson, like what 
classes they're teaching and all of that. So I'm kind of getting a little inkling we might be getting our lessons. And I'm really, really scared. I don't know if anything I just said made any sense, but yeah. But literally all teachers are just being chill. Like yesterday, we had maths and that was quite chill. And geography was too. We watched a movie. We watched The Lorax and I've never watched The Lorax and it was actually really good. And we're going to be finishing it off today because we've got a cover teacher, our teacher said. But I really like this cover teacher. I had her in year seven and she was my PSHE teacher and I loved her so much. She was so sweet. But we're going to be watching The Lorax and marking our tests in geography. And I just feel like this has been really good. So I'm chuffed. I literally wake up early every morning just so I can watch TV and I don't know what my logic is, but... That's my logic, guys. I go to bed really late because I want to watch TV. Oh my gosh, I need to tell you what I watched last night. I watched about half an hour of Smile and I was literally screaming at my TV because I was absolutely terrified. I was so, 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 so scared because I was on the bit where the girl, I think her name's like Rose, she saw the thing in her house while she was having a little cheeky glass. Oh my gosh, I was terrified. Like, my soul actually left my body and I never turned something off so quickly in my life. But I want to watch it again today because Scarlett's sleeping around. Oh my gosh, I think Scarlett's picking me up. Oh! That means that I need to leave early. Oh, I completely forgot about that, but Scarlett's gonna be picking me up because she's sleeping around tonight. Yay! Hey y'all, I think I'm all done. I've got my eyebrow drawn my school bag because I can't bother to do that right now. My braces are really aggravating me, but I've got my next appointment in like three weeks. I really want those three weeks to come quickly. Okay, I'm all done. Bye. Hey guys, get ready me for a party. It is literally my favorite time ever. I haven't been to a party in so long because of GCSEs, but it's half time. So it is time. I've literally been needing this party. I've been craving it. I know I say that all the time, but I haven't had one in literal months. I've got a spot patch on her, so I'm just gonna take that off. I literally have not decided what I'm gonna wear tonight. So stay tuned to the end to see what I wear. I don't know if it's more of a casual party, like skirts and a crop top or like skirts and a corset kind of vibe, but I guess we'll see what I go for. Surprisingly, I still have a bit of time to get ready today. So I'm praying I'm not late. Anyway, we're going to do a bit of a full face makeup today because we want to look good, guys. So we're going to start by absolutely doing some really good skincare because we need to have a nicer face. Anyway, my bestie is also here getting ready with me. So it's going to be a good party, guys. I've got a good feeling it's going to be a good night. Guys, I honestly think one of the best things about a party is getting ready, though, with your friends. Like, it's so fun. Like... We've just been talking for hours. Anyway, yesterday I went to Thorpe Park and it was so good. It was such a good event. If you haven't seen it, check out my Instagram. There's a lot on it. Oh my God, my hands are looking a bit orange. I was actually lucky enough to be one of the first ever people to ride the new ride at Hyperia. Oh my God, it is so good. I can't lie, it was a bit scary. But if you get the chance, definitely go give it a ride because it was insane. And also, I just had a really nice day in general. Like, I met so many new people that I'm now friends with, which is so cute. So yeah, I'll post some more on that. I'll try to get a day in the life up. Guys, Chloe won't get in my get ready me. I'm so offended. Anyway, my tan this morning was so patchy. Then I went in the shower and it's gone okay, but it's just this one hand. So hopefully no one is looking at my hands. I don't know which primer to use because this one I've got more of and I do really like it, but I feel like this holds my makeup better. Okay, we're just gonna go for this because we've only got a little bit left anyway. So we're gonna try scrape out what is left in there okay, i'm just gonna rub this in make my face all good for putting on makeup guys i'm literally so excited for this i've been missing pies so much and now we've got one like i know i've still got my gcses and i literally have my maths gcse in a couple days what even is that hey guys we've got 20 minutes <laughs> it's getting a bit a bit intense but i think god i just need to pick out an outfit and that is what is stressing me out but i'm just gonna go in with some flawless filter to have a nice glowy base today i also think there's quite a lot of people going today which is good because obviously some people might not be allowed to come to gcse's but i think majority of people are coming hey guys we're obviously gonna go for quite a nice summery kind of makeup look today because it's not like that dark yet like it's literally bright outside just the lighting is better when i have my curtains shut so we're gonna not go too full coverage okay guys i just ordered a mcdonald's which probably isn't the best thing to do for a party but we're hungry but it's probably gonna make us really late now but oh well guys it's all kicking off downstairs my sister's new wardrobe has just arrived so chloe has just gone down to go get the dog and put him in here so he doesn't run out the front door I'm just gonna blend this okay next we're just going to contour my face because we want to look nice and snatched as well as a bit more tanned even though boring i'm really hoping that the playlist is good today because i'm really excited guys you don't understand how i'm excited how, how much i've been wanting to go to a party like gcse's have literally just like sucked the life out of me and this is gonna like regain who bethany is Hey 
Okay, guys, makeup is going. My McDonald's really needs to hurry up because I'm hungry and drinking on an empty stomach is not also day. Okay, I'm just gonna add a little bit of pinky blush to my cheeks enhance a little summery kind of vibe guys what do i wear i got this new leopard print skirt from urban the other day which is quite cute did quite like it but i don't know if that's too much okay, next i'm just going to take a little bit of highlighter again on my cheeks and on the end of my nose because we want to look all cute and sunkissed i'm saying sunkissed as if i've not just slapped on liters of fake tan p louise actually sent me the most giant box of cream bronzers but I don't know if I want to risk using a brand new one on a day I need my makeup to be like 10 out of 10. So we're going to go with the trusted um, Charlotte Tilbury one. I'll show you the box actually quick. I'm not joking by saying this is the biggest box. Like they've sent me every single shade. Wowza. But thank you so much P. Louise. I'm so grateful and I cannot wait to try them out. I'm going to take my disposable camera tonight to get some cute photos again. Because I took it on Leaver's Day and the photos turned out so cute. So I'm going to do the same thing again today. Hey guys, McDonald's is nearly here and then we can actually head off. Makeup is actually kind of giving today. Quite happy with that. Whoa, so grateful. But we still need to pick an outfit. And I think I'm going to eat my McDonald's and then do my lips. Because I'm not planning to have smudged lip gloss guys this powder in my eye it's giving snatched hey guys this is the last powder i'm going to take today it's the charlotte tilbury one because i just take this on like my t-zone kind of because it stops me going all gross hey guys makeup is literally giving today i'm so happy hey guys in case i forget to show you this is the lip combo i'm going to be using today but i'll come back when my outfit is on and i've scrammed my mcdonald's okay guys mcbang time let's try a chip Mm -mm -mm. Okay guys, this is the outfit I've gone for. It's pretty basic, but it's cute for tonight. So I'll see you later. Bye guys, love you. Here are some rules that I would have for my future kids. Ignore the mismatched clips. One of them broke in my suitcase. First rule, and I stand by this, I do not care. My kids will not be having a phone until sixth grade. And they're not getting an iPad until like kindergarten. You can say that's too late. You can say whatever you want, but I do not want my kids to be raised on social media or the internet in general. That's why so many kids now are reading below their designated grade level because shows aren't even educational anymore. They're allowed to date at any age unless they're a zoo file or something then you got to get up out of my house the only time i wouldn't allow it is if the person that they're dating came from like whiz oh also if i catch my child saying where my hug at or being nonchalant in any way shape or form then they'll be forced to spend the summer with their great grandfather in trinidad until they learn to come correct because i don't know where you got that from but it surely wasn't from me I'm not allowing cussing of any kind in my house. If you're going to swear, do so with your friends and outside. When you're talking in my house, especially talking to me, you're going to talk with respect. Either way, I'm going to make sure that their vocabulary is broadened enough so that they can find other words to use or other words to express themselves. And just how I don't want for them to cuss, I'm also not going to be swearing in front of my children. When it comes to grades, I don't want to encourage performing low at all. If they fail a class, then next time they bounce back, they do better. I get them some outside help. I study with them. So when the next report card comes and you're filling that class again, then yeah, we're gonna have problems. Nevaeh said this perfectly in her video, like encouraging your child to try their best and allowing them to fail over and over and over again is only gonna normalize a low performance. Why would I do that? My kids will 100% be getting an allowance and when they're younger, I'm gonna give them a piggy bank so that they can start saving at a young age. It's never too early to learn how to save. The younger you start, the better you will be at making financial decisions. I always say that I want my kids to do better than me. Like one of many things is I want them to be better when it comes to spending. Like, I don't know why so many of these videos say that they're not going to give their child an allowance. It's good for them to know the value of a dollar. It's good for them to go into a store and be like, okay, this is my budget. What can I afford? What do I want? What do I need? I'm not going to be strict about piercings at all. Tats, on the other hand, you're going to have to wait until you're 18. If you come to me at 12 talking about you want a tat, I'm going to tell you to get out of my face. Anyway, we are finished. Deuces, deuces, and deuces. Hey guys, get ready with me, plus Owen, to go to Centre Park. Owen's been abnormally loud in the background. Oh my god. But we are going to Centre Parks. Me and my family, plus Owen, are going to go to Centre Parks for the weekend. So we go Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. I'm so excited. We've got so many fun things planned. And as soon as I get there, I'm going to take Owen in the pool. Because that is just me. I've already packed my whole entire skincare in this bag, so I'm gonna have to like root around in the bag, but anyway. Also ignore my hair. Also, can we ignore the fact it's so hot outside? Me and Owen could hardly flipping sleep last night because we were so warm in it. Yeah. I literally, we ended up, I ended up waking up at like 1am, 12 o'clock because 
I was like begging her because she had a fan in her room. I was like, give us the fan because my room's quite small compared to other rooms in the house. So obviously it got really hot and really stuffy really quick. My mum was like, no. And like my dad had to literally sleep upstairs because it was so hot. My mum just would not give us the fan. I was like, girl, selfish. Anyway, I've just put my SPF off by Garnier. I love this stuff. Look how glowy it makes me look. My nose looks literally so shiny. My hay fever is so bad. I need to remember to take a hay fever tablet because I will generally look like... I don't even know. Oh, look awful. My eyes. Can't speak. But anyway, one of the things we've got planned, is well, the only thing I can remember we've got planned, is quad biking. So I'm so excited for that. Only oh, excited for quad biking. Yeah, I can't wait. I'm so excited. I had to literally force Owen to bring some, like, not really nice shoes. And he was having a huge fanny fit. Weren't you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you just admitting it to all? Huh? I was like telling everyone how you had a huge fanny fit when I was telling you to bring some old shoes and you were like, no, I, no. I don't want it. Yeah, and I was like, and he was like, oh, can I bring my Jordan 4s? I was like, you want to go quad biking in your Jordan 4s? Also, I'm looking on my hair right now because, yeah, also I got this new deodorant and it was like all over TikTok. Do you guys remember it? It's like the wild deodorant. I'm going to try it for the first time. But, um, yeah, I went into Sainsbury's and did a little shopping haul and I got it because it's like refillable and it looks cute. But, um, ooh. Flip p &L, it's rough. Look at that, it's like... What is it? It's my deodorant I got yesterday, but it's like... Is it, is it not just dry? Oh, yeah, it is dry. <laughs> I mean... Anywho, I've also got this, like, really cute leopard print skirt on, which I am going to have to change because, um, it's from Sheen, and it does go, like, it's quite short. It's got shorts underneath it, but the shorts are really short as well, so you can kind of see my bum, so I'm going to have to change that, unfortunately, but it's really, really cute. Okay, but I'm not going to put any makeup on today because, obviously, we're going to be travelling down for, like, two hours, and... Um, it's all just gonna melt off by then and I just want it to look like glowy today So I'm just literally just gonna use my moisturizer now and then that's me done Actually, I'm gonna use my bronzing drops as well because I don't want my face to look quite bronze. So I'm gonna do That there we go and then just blend that in and then I'm done That is me done. Look how glowy I look. Oh and do I look glowy? Yeah. Are you serious? Do I look glowy? You haven't even looked at me! Yeah. Does my skin look glowy? Look even glowier if you let my hair buzz dry. Oh my god. So again, he's been like a little five-year-old and having a fanny fit because he, he he's, you've brought your own charger. Put my AirPods on charge! You just told me. Oh, uh. oh, so he's brought his AirPods and I brought my AirPods and my AirPods need charging and so do his. Yeah, but I, I He's brought that, his own charger. I, I said I'm going to put my AirPods on charge and you're like, actually put mine on charge. No, I said, can you put mine on charge because you're using my charger. You, and you've brought your own charger. Give me some of my bag. Suitcase. You're pissing me off. Okay, that's me done anyway. Let's just put my hair down and then I'm going to go. Woof! Thank you. Look how greasy my hair is because I literally went in the shower about five minutes ago and I was like, Mum, I'm going to wash my hair. She's like, do not wash your hair. You're going in the pool as soon as you get to Centre Parks. And I was like, I want my hair washed and like it's greasy. She's like, no, you're going to go in the pool in like three hours. So apparently I just wasn't allowed to wash my hair today. Okay, I think she's tied my hair back and that's me done. I think I might dye my hair but I'm going to do it off camera. So yeah. Um, I love you and I'll see you guys when I'm in Centre Parks. Bye guys. I want to say bye. 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 No one ever talks about the fact that school never truly ends. You get out in, let's say, June, and then boom, July, everyone's already talking about back-to-school shopping and everything's already out. I can't even lie, though, I do love myself some good back-to-school shopping. I don't know about y'all, but I will always be watching those back-to-school vlogs. You're ready with me saying things that I better and do not want to see next school year. Y'all, it is 2024. We need to get it together. I swear, I better not see anybody's pads sitting in the bathroom. Throw the pad away. This used to happen all the time last year, and I just had enough. Like, do y'all not realize that we could smell it too? But if this gets on your for you page, please comment for you page because I try to follow and notice everybody that does comment for you page. Like, somebody put a pad on the ceiling. I remember because somebody like posted it on Snapchat and they were like, y'all need to be stopped because y'all do. Please do not take this personal, but I do not want to see anybody wearing lemonade braids. Do I even have to explain why or no? better not see anybody wearing panda dunks on the first day do not come for me there's nothing wrong with it but i just feel like they're overhyped and like overused because i do not want to encounter any slow walkers y'all i'm tired of it and i had enough i better not see anybody twerking in the halls
And I also better not see homework on the freaking first week of school, but we never get homework, so it doesn't matter anyway. I better not see anybody that did not communicate with me over the summer try to come up to me and act like we're cool. I'm grateful for the real friends. Y'all know who y'all are, but if you didn't, just don't come. The other thing is I don't want to hear people screaming at 7 a.m. in the morning like, I just woke up not too long ago. I also do not want to see anybody wearing Nike blazers. Y'all also don't take these to heart. This is my opinion. I don't know why y'all get so offended when I say my opinion. Another thing that I better not see is PDA. Like, can y'all get a room? I better not see anybody in my classes that I do not like or I'm going straight to the counselor because, uh-uh. Also better not smell no musty people. We are in 10th grade. Like, we need to get it together, like, now. I also should not see anybody in ISS the first week of school. Like, y'all really just doing the most. Even though I can't talk because I literally always used to be in, in school suspension. Anyways, that is everything. And if you stayed all the way to the end, comment down below a pink heart. But with that being said, have a great day. And remember that God loves you guys. And remember, don't take this video to heart. Be your own self. Bye, guys.